Oh my god, no, no. What's happening? No. Oh. Hi everybody, welcome back to my channel. If you're new here, my name is Christina. I'm an uncultured film student who's making up for her lack of knowledge of films by doing reaction videos. Plus, I love watching movies and TV shows with other people, so I like to think of it as sharing the experience with you. Today, we are watching Five Nights at Freddy's. Five Nights at Freddy's is based on the indie game franchise. It's the same name. It's very first game being released back in 2014 when I was still a teenager. It was a really popular game that went completely viral. I have never really played the games. I played them a couple of times, but really I am one of those people who, although I didn't play the games, I know a little bit too much about the story. Mostly thanks to Matt Pat and his uh, game theory videos on the franchise. And then I like tied up neatly with a bow when I watched Wendigoon's uh, exclamation video of the entire franchise. If you've seen my other reactions on my channel, you probably know that I have a thing for like storytelling and just writing in general. Five Nights at Freddy's just has such an intricate background story with a lot of lore that can be easily missed if you're just passively playing the games. I really appreciate that element of the franchise, although I think it's a bit weird that such a dark, violent, and like morbid story is marketed towards kids. I looked up the rating this time for this movie. I actually looked up the rating and it's PG-13. The same thing happened with Megan, which of course, these are the same producers who made Megan, so that's, that tracks. When Megan went viral on TikTok for her little dance scene, they changed the rating from R to PG-13, so that way older kids would have an opportunity to see the movie and thus give the movie more money. The thing is like with Five Nights at Freddy's, a PG-13 rating is just, Sure. I know Josh Hutcherson is in it. I thoroughly enjoy him. I am trying to go into this with like an open mind. I'm just trying to see if I'm going to have some fun while watching it. Please be sure to like the video if you like the video and subscribe if you want to see more of my reactions. If you want early access to the extended and uncensored versions of my videos, polls for where I react to next, and a Patreon shout out in every video, you can do so at my Patreon page. The link is in the description. Thank you to my Patreon members. I appreciate the support and I'm forever grateful. I am deaf, so I will be using captions. I don't think this movie is going to scare me just because I'm not that easily scared. I'm easily shocked, but I'm not easily scared. <laughs> wow. Oh, ew, that's so nasty. I would never, I, well, if I was about to be killed, maybe I would. What an asshole. I'm so sorry. I can't believe that actually made me jump. <laughs> what is this, Saw, but like Five Nights at Freddy's version? <laughs> That's not gonna work. Oh. <laughs> so we don't get to see it. Cool. What is this vibe giving me right now? I feel, I wanna say Stranger Things, but I don't think that's what the vibe is giving me. It's giving me something that I've seen before. Oh, look at that, that's so cute. They put the mini games in. He has not aged a single day. Father my ass, you still look like you're a 19 year old. Five minutes, I need you dressed. <laughs> Five minutes. You know, it's really hard being a single parent, so, you know. But I want the fudge on the side because I don't want it to melt the ice cream. And can I get some whipped cream? We got this new flavor, Rainbow Explosion. I bet you'll go crazy for it. So Abby is not his daughter, that's his sister? How do you know that's not the kid's father, by the way? Hey! Oh! Oh! That's a lot. Mm. Is that who I think it is? It's a scream, baby! Beat up a man in broad daylight <laughs> in front of his child. <laughs> See, I told you that was the boy's father. It was just the kid, you know, 
being a kid and the dad being pissed off and you beat up the dad. Mm -mm. Trying to figure out who you are, Mr. Michael. Sh some coffee, I made some coffee. No. What do you know? I have a job for you. Mm. Come on, sit down. Sit, 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 sit. See, you can't trust this guy. And you only have to worry about one thing, keeping people out. And I like that, the fact that he says it that way, keep people out. That's a very specific way of saying it. And, and you know, and keep the place tidy. That's two things. Two things, bitch, don't complain. Are you looking for a job or what? Please, you have a change of heart. I'm still very hung up at the fact that there was something about his last name that ticked him off. I want to say I know where they're going with that, but I'm not really sure if I want to assume. Because I don't want to assume anything about this movie. Oh! Abs, with the day that I'm having, can you just eat some food? But you should know what happens to little kids who don't eat their dinners. Their bodies stay the same size forever. My friend says you're an idiot. <laughs> At least I'm real. Okay. Have trouble sleeping, my friend? Jared. Brother's name is Garrett. Got it. Not who I thought it would be. Oh. Oh. <laughs> Reoccurring nightmare. Hmm. So that's I explain why he was so feral with that man that he thought was kidnapping a kid. Calm. Don't tell me to calm down. You're the doctor. And you're making me feel like I'm the crazy one. And after, after what he did to that poor man, I just. <laughs> Bruh. His <laughs> face is exactly how I feel right now. I have really tried to. What? In your heart, you know that this is the right thing to do. I didn't care about Abby. All she wants is the monthly check from the state. Come on. She talks to air more than she talks to me. I could drop dead tomorrow and she'd be too busy drawing to even notice. You know, pictures hold tremendous power for children. Yeah, our pictures mean something. And who is at the center of nine out of 10 of them? Me. Mm -hmm. mm. Like it or not, you're her world. I like that. That's a very good explanation about that. Uh, yeah, I was just calling to see if that job that you offered was, uh, was still available. Oh, it absolutely is. Okay, so, so far this Mike Schmidt, who I, Thought was a certain character from the games. I don't think is actually that character because that character did have a sister, but you know. The only reason they haven't given it the old wrecking ball treatment is the owner is a bit of a. Well, he's kind of a sentimental guy, I guess. Yeah. Why is he acting so weird? Again, the production design is great. Very cool, just like the game. I'm trying to figure out what this character's deal is. To indulge in his two greatest passions, family-friendly fun and cutting-edge animatronic technology. So are they not going to mention the fact that these animatronics are also like a suit that you can wear? It's not going to come into play at any point. Ha ha ha! Good, that's pretty good. Just turn it around, sure, like that's going to do anything. Again, the production design is brilliant so far. I have to give props where it's due, and the production design is great. Man, I really want to go to Dave & Buster's right now. Need some free summer fun? Then get to Dave & Buster. I need to know, were you guys like Chuck E. Cheese kids? Like, did you go to Chuck E. Cheese a lot? I didn't really go as often, but that's because I was scared. Ironically, I was too scared to go to Chuck E. Cheese because I was scared of the animatronics and the big scary mask that was Chuck E. Cheese. <laughs> I can't tell if these are practical or CGI. What's up with the dream theory book? Am I missing something? What the hell? Did you see that car? Did you see what happened? Are they 
Are they infiltrating his nightmare right now? Sleepwalking at work, my guy. Well, you made it through the night, technically, right? I'm, I'm paying you, eventually. <laughs> it's okay. I know where you live. You gotta love those kind of people that even if you're able, unable to pay them, they know that you're like you're struggling and they're willing to help you out and your kid. I love those kind of people. Those are one of the good ones. <laughs> you do realize that lunch is the most important meal of the day. Is that Matt Pat? It's just a theory. Are you being- Oh my god. He said it! He said it! You were about to tell me what a miserable failure you are. Hey, screw you, lady. If there was something to find, she would have found it. Oh my god, she's using the f***ing babies here. I spoke way too soon. Is that guy okay? Thank I you. I just realized I shouldn't be hearing any of this. Why don't we just kill him? He definitely cannot be there for that. We get in. And we mess up the place good. We help ourselves to whatever we find along the way. Your nephew gets canned. <laughs> What are you doing? Why is he trying to rip that down? I know. I'm telling what to. No, you're not. Give me the vest. No. What? Give me the vest. He's taking my vest! Hey! Keeping it! No. She's all yours. <laughs> I mean, in all honesty, this is what I was like with my older brother when I was little. Such a pain in the ass. Just on par with being a little sister, it's just a thing. Oh, he brought the poster here. Oh. They're not there anymore. So you took this job so you could sleep on the job. You know, if they did come and ransack the place, you would lose your job because you're sleeping. Want to know what you saw? So I'm a little confused. Is this a new element of his nightmare that he's never seen before? Because the first time we saw it, these kids were not here. Notice the hook. Can I uh, help you, officer? Please. My name's Vanessa. You're bleeding, by the way. So what happened to him in the dream actually affected him in real life. Okay. Why Nebraska? Why are you here? That shit is so disrespectful! So disrespectful! Also, I really loved this place as a kid. What do you know about this place, ma'am? I'm trying to figure out if in this world, this world of the movie at least, if there were any of the past events from the other Fazbear um, locations. I wonder if that's like part of this world or not, because no one seems to be mentioning that part. This is somewhere you see yourself 10, 20 years from now? I didn't think so. Hmm. Add to that the thing with those kids going missing. Thank you for mentioning it. Thank you. It was driving me crazy. Prepare to have your mind blown. This, this is... The best thing you've seen in your entire life? Can't tell if I like her or not. She's a little bit too optimistic for me. Um, I'm just one of those people that when someone's a little bit too optimistic, you, 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 you scare me. The really optimistic people in life, I think... You are so brave, and you scare the hell out of me at the same time. Wait, you, you said some kids went missing? Oh yeah, that's a bit of a trigger for him. There. Mm hmm. Now you're official. But I'm assuming that Vanessa only like checks up periodically. So they're, so they crash during the day when he's not there. Well, that's management's fault. If you didn't want anyone to wreck your place during the day, then get a security guard for the day. This is making me needlessly angry. At this point, I want the animatronic to kill you. Why do you look familiar? Bro, you don't think that's weird? Why is that moving? I would run away. Why are you walking towards it? Oh. <laughs> oh! Oh my god! Oh, I'm sorry, I wasn't expecting to see that. <laughs> this movie is very much giving camp. Oh my god. Very much Megan vibes. <laughs> 
Oh, I'm so sorry, honey. They're all dead. They're all about to be dead. Oh, you dumbass. Come on, you stupid. Hank. Come on. I am so sorry that I do not feel sorry for you. You didn't lock it? Is that who I think it is? Yep. All right, that got me a little. He didn't have to come inside, honey. You could have waited in the car and then just left. Just leave. Just leave your husband, boyfriend, wherever he is. Brother, whatever. Is she about hey. to die? Follow me. I actually... Oh, shit. Oh, shit. Oh, shit. Oh, shit. That was new. The kid's new. Now, surprisingly, although she's working with the group, I don't think she de technically deserves to die. I feel like she's just being coerced into doing a lot of this. Are you stupid or something? Yes, let's follow the dead ghost child. Yes, that sounds awesome. The bite. I'm gonna get her head bit off. Yeah. That was one hell of a bite. Okay. Oh, that's so sweet. He's just a very stressed out older brother. That's it. Oh. I'm trying my best, Abby, okay? <laughs> Now she wants it. Made a mess. Sorry. Oh, poor baby. That's a very, um... That's a very difficult situation for a child to understand. That's complicated, Aunt Jane. I hate her. She's mean and she smells like cigarettes. <laughs> I mean, I don't like her either. She's kind of a... It's nice that we can finally agree about something. <laughs> Are you gonna give me away? I was no. Mike didn't tell me he had a daughter. Gross. No, uh, <laughs> Abby is great. Are they about to try to blame Mike for the bodies at the place? Newsflash: If you're too whacked out to remember to lock a friggin' door, accident or not, you're liable. You want to take a walk? I'm sorry, so the bodies, I guess, weren't there? Because they're not saying anything about bodies being found. And I know that he's in here, but he's just, he's, it's buried. So every night I dream, and I go back to that same memory, and I, I search for details for any little thing that got overlooked. So it's like an extreme form of, like, lucid dreaming, but through your memories, kind of, is what I'm getting at. Should go. Huh. <laughs> you didn't have to throw the pills into the water, though. <laughs> well, at least she got what she wanted. It's like camping. Mm. 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 <laughs> <laughs> nice editing. Oh, oh yeah, that's right. Your other job is to tidy up the place. Abby. Mm -mm. I'll be right back. Girl. I mean, I get it. It's like a Chuck E. Cheese. Like, any kid would be excited to have the whole place to themselves. Hello? Mm-mm. Mm-mm. Might as well come out. Oh. Mm -mm. This is where I would run. She's literally just standing there. Oh, it's just the one kid? You're those kids, right? What will you give us? I'll give you anything you want. Mmm, interesting. <laughs> what the hell are they doing to her? 
They wouldn't stop tickling me. They said I was gonna die. Freddy, this is my brother, Mike. Uh. And I want you to meet the others. Well, of course they're gonna be nice to her. She's the little one. She's a child, technically, like they are. They just want to play. Mm, 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 no. They really like pictures. Gonna know something about the drawings now. So she's been having dreams about them? Are they... Ghosts? Of course. How else could they make the robot to move? Ha! <laughs> uh, I mean, she's very forward. God, give that to her. Can, can you explain this to me? Oh my f God. Okay, I'm not, I'm not mad. I won't get angry at you. Did that boy ever tell you anything about the man driving that car? All they talk about is a yellow rabbit. <laughs> Again, I'm very confused where this is going with this. I'm also very confused on how I'm supposed to feel about Vanessa. I can't tell if she's a threat or what. I wonder if she knew the kids since she used to go there when she was a child. Hey, Abby, if I asked you to wait in the car, would you? No. That, <laughs> I love how forward she is. You knew about this. Oh, she knew. Okay. Guess you figured it out. That's a choice. Vanessa's never gotten hurt by these. It needs to be big so we can all fit inside. Everyone, <laughs> follow me. What is this movie turning into? Are you okay? <laughs> this is so campy. I mean, I'm not complaining. I wouldn't trust her alone with them. Oh, so they do mention it. Don't. I wouldn't do that. Let's see. Ooh. Ooh. I am so glad that they mentioned that because I always thought that was like one of the coolest parts about the suits. Is there anything else that you want to tell me about, Vanessa? Because you seem to know everything about this place. You need to drop this. I don't really see how that's any of your business. I'm telling you, you need to let it go. Who the hell are you? Again, I don't know what I'm supposed to be thinking of, Vanessa. Just go home, Mike. Take care of your sister. If you ever bring Abby back here again, I will shoot you. Oh, okay. That's one hell of a threat. She looks so angry. Why does everyone always look at you that way? For lots of reasons, honey. None which are his fault. I need your help. favorite little girl this is what trauma looks like i promise you this is not what you think it is i hate you oh yeah are you not thinking about the goons that you sent that they haven't contacted you yet like have you not thought about that i wonder now that abby's angry at him if the animatronics are going to take it out on him because apparently she's linked to them in some way as well. Oh, this is different. <laughs> hey, buddy. This is very different. You can have this dream every night. We want Abby. Whoop. I'm going to sacrifice one sibling for the other. Okay. I'm sorry, can I just get prop? Josh, Josh Hutcherson is just carrying the scene. This is so good. He's such a good actor. Home. Realizing how f this is? Are you realizing? It's. It, are you trying to realize? No, this is wrong. I, I don't. I don't want this. this isn't... Oh, he's in the chair. Holy sh! Oh. Oh, now you find the bodies. Vanessa's a terrible police officer. She couldn't even find these bodies. She didn't even bother looking. Mm, yeah, no. 
the music. Oh my god. Oh, they showed up to the house. Freddy? He looks different. Not Freddy. Oh. Sylvia and Jane. Oh my god. No. No. What is happening? No. Oh. Oh my goodness. <laughs> oh my goodness would not be the words I would say. Why do I always get the weirdos? This is so campy. I don't know if it was meant to be campy, but it's very campy. Careful. Who are you? What? They tried to kill me, Vanessa. I'm guessing you already knew that. Max, her brother, you knew about them too, right? Oh, she did. Oh, sh They want to make her like them. Police searched Freddy's from top to bottom. Every inch was accounted for. <laughs> and they never found them. Didn't find them because they were stuffed into the suits. Although you would wonder a little bit about the smell. They knew there's one place they'd never think to check because... Why would they? His name is William Afton. He's my father. Wait a damn minute. <laughs> Wait a damn... Since when does he have a second daughter? I mean, that explains why she was always there. I'm so, so sorry. Tell me how to stop them. Electricity. Electricity is the key. You need to avoid the front entrance. You can talk about this later. I love you too, Mike. But we should probably go now. I'm with Abby. She's smart. <laughs> okay. That was a pretty good one. <laughs> oh. <laughs> oh, smart girl. See, she's smart. That ball pit section looks awesome. I'm not gonna lie. Abby, where are you? Shh. Abby? Is it William? Oh my god. It's <laughs> oh. So, he is fine with electricity. He is fine. Oh, that's a pretty cool shot. First I killed your brother. Now I kill you. Symmetry, my friend. Oh, I feel a little bit behind. I did not catch that by her having the plane in that picture. That meant that William was obviously the murderer of Garrett. I did not catch that. <laughs> Damn. Wake up, children. Oh. I thought the ghost children hated him. Drop the knife. <laughs> We're all for temper tantrums, are we, Vanessa? Oh! I know he was supposed to be in the suit, but I thought he was dead. Wait for it. Keep waiting. We both know you're not gonna use a gun. Oh! Mm, you thought wrong. The yellow rabbit hurt your friends. Show them what really happened. Keep him in the dark. And kill him if he got too close. That's two jobs. <laughs> oh, 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 oh. A little aggressive with your daughter, sir. Sir. <laughs> I'm glad that the drawings came back into play. What have you done? I made you! Oh. Oh. Mm -mm. I'll 
always come back. Ah, ah, he said it! He said it! Spring locks. Abby's there for emotional support. Oh. The turn she's taken these past few weeks, whatever you're doing, keep doing it. Um, we're gonna make a quick stop, okay? Oh, I'm guessing Vanessa. Is she even awake? Oh, no. Did you tell her I said hi? I did. You okay? Oh my god, that drawing. Just thinking about my friends. Can we visit them sometime? Uh, they try to kill you. You know what? You never know what can happen. <laughs> Who is it? I said read the sun. <laughs> okay, that was cute. That was really cute. Give me a couple of minutes to collect my thoughts. So I had to sleep on it. I'm going to discuss my pros and cons of this film. However, I do have something to say afterwards about the criticism that this film has been receiving. I'm going to start off with my pros because I don't want to give an error of only thinking of this movie in a negative light when that's not how I truly feel about it after letting it sit with me all night. To begin my pros, the production design is fantastic. The sets, especially the Freddy's Fazbear Pizza location, look both lived in, like it's obviously been around for a while, and yet fantastical at the same time. I don't know how to really describe it. I loved the feeling of those sets. The animatronics were gorgeous, uh, thanks to Jim Henson's Creature Shop. They did a great job of making the animatronics look so exactly like their game counterparts that the production had to set the record straight with critics who were saying that the production was using excessive CGI for the animatronics. Can you imagine making your creature look so much like its game counterpart that people don't think it's real? I think the adult actors were great, especially Josh Hutcherson and Matthew Lillard. I believe that's how you say his name. I feel like I've been a fan of him since I was a kid and I still don't know how to pronounce his name. Josh Hutcherson always delivers very emotionally driven scenes, so I think he was cast well. I definitely feel like he carried the emotional core of this movie. As for Matthew Lillard, just watching him is a joy, especially as a bad guy. So I realize now <laughs> that the film has its own separate story, separate from the books and the games. I know that now. It is a new version of the story reimagined by Scott, the creator of the franchise. With that in mind, the changes to the lore in the movie suddenly make a lot of sense. I wish I had known before watching, but I was trying my best to avoid anything that would skew my viewing experience. However, the references from the games and the books that were included in the movie were a lot of fun to catch, if you were able to catch them. It's me, Matt Pat, Vanessa from Security Breach, The Bite, Balloon Boy, Golden Freddy. Even the tiny reference to Scream was a lot of fun to catch. I like the campiness of the movie. It confused me at first because I couldn't pinpoint the tone that the film was going for, but I'm reminded that even the games themselves could sometimes be goofy despite the heavy material in it. Taking this into consideration, the campiness definitely fits with the tone of the film. I think really my only big complaint about this film, like my really like, it, it just grinds my gears kind of thing is the PG-13 rating. I do understand completely that it was to allow younger fans of the franchise the opportunity to see the movie, but I felt that was such a dark and violent story, like Five Nights at Freddy's, that the film would follow a similar trend. And to be honest, it wasn't just the lack of gore, but the lack of swearing in situations where swearing would have been appropriate that was comical to me. But again, I understand that it's to allow the film to be more accessible to a wider audience. I like it in here. Me too. So wrapping this all up, because I don't think it matters what I think or what film critics think of this film. I have seen a few scathing reviews online from film critics. Not all are inherently negative, but some of the reviews go really hard on this movie. There's absolutely no mercy shown. 
However, counteracting those reviews, I went to the Five Nights at Freddy's subreddit and even watched a couple of reactions because I was curious if people felt the same way the film critics do or even myself. I think there has to be something said when it comes to films that are clearly made for the fandom they come from, whether it be a television series as passionately loved as The Last of Us or a film like Detective Pikachu. Despite that there was a section of this fan base that seemed displeased with the movie and some of the lore changes, the overall consensus I gathered was that fans do enjoy this movie for what it is. They enjoy the small references to the franchise, the campiness of the story, such as the fort building scene, which is there to remind us that these animatronics are victims themselves, forever children trapped inside machines. They enjoy the fact that Scott put in the spring trap scene, arguably one of the coolest and haunting scenes of the franchise, and rightfully deserved for William Afton's character. The average moviegoer and usual run-of-the-mill film critic may not like this movie, but I don't think it was made with us in mind. This was clearly a labor of love for the fans, old and young, who have been with this franchise since its humble beginnings and who have been wanting to see it on the big screen for almost a decade. I tend to be a believer that if the fans are happy with the final product, then I think the creator, in this case Scott, accomplished his goal with the film. I don't think you could ask for more when it's meant to be a love letter to the people who made the franchise what it is today. I think Five Nights at Freddy's encapsulates a specific time in most people's lives, especially the younger fans. It was a time of mystery and fun, putting together the big puzzle of what the lore was, getting attached to these characters and waiting for the next game or book to release, to keep completing this big puzzle that seemed never ending. But that was the fun of it. I can't imagine being an active fan who spent years into this franchise and how satisfying it must be to finally say, we got our movie. With all the money made in its opening weekend, despite being available for streaming, something tells me that we'll be seeing a sequel very soon. I just want to say congratulations to everyone who worked on this film because it was clearly a labor of love for the fans and I think that's so sweet. But I want to know your opinions about this film, whether you are a fan or not a fan. What did you think of this movie? What did you think of the PG-13 rating? What did you think of the campiness of it all? I'm just really curious to know what people thought about this movie because I know that, like, of course, like the average moviegoer who was probably expecting something, you know, a little bit more violent, violent. Um, is probably very displeased with this movie. But I also want to know, like, if there were actually people who are not fans of the franchise who genuinely had fun with this movie. Also, if there's anything interesting you think I would probably like to know, let me know as well. Something about the production, something about the story, because as I said, I was a passive fan. So although I do know the lore of the games, I don't really know the lore of the books. Obviously don't know the lore of the movie, so if anyone wants to correct me, that's great. Remember to like the video if you like the video and subscribe if you want to see more of my reactions. And if you would like early access to the extended and censored versions of my videos, polls for what I react to next, and a Patreon shout out in every video, you can do so at my Patreon. The link is in the description. Thank you for watching Five Nights at Freddy's with me, and until the next one, bye.